Sorry, dude. <laughs> Does that mean you're not allowed out? No, no, it just made me immediately, uh, I mean, he, he jumped on it, like he yeah, said, he did. oh, he's vulnerable, like, uh, yeah. I'm not, like, it's only a mild, it's only a mild way, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I just, I don't, don't want to give him any, uh, no, you ammunition. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right, I'll keep that to myself. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, good morning, Birmingham. Uh, joy to be uh, uh, here in your midst uh, today and uh, to bring to you the good news of the gospel. You know, there is hope. You know, there's, uh, there's joy to be had. There's peace to be found. Uh, a hope that doesn't disappoint, you know, uh, in the gospel, the good news that we seek to bring to you today. If you're suffering, as many, many people are in these days in which we find ourselves uh, at the mercy of uh, forces above and beyond ourselves, uh, causing us all kinds of misery, people in distress and depressed, people suicidal, uh, people lonely, uh, people ruined uh, by the circumstances and uh, governance that doesn't seem to know what it's doing from one day to the next. I don't wonder that many people are in distress. I don't wonder that many people are suffering. But we just want to tell you that there is, there is good news. There is light, light in the midst of the darkness. There is truth, there is hope, and there is joy, and there is peace, my friends, to be found in the gospel, but nowhere else. I have to tell you, nowhere else, but in the gospel of God's Son, Jesus Christ sent into the world to bring hope, to bring light, to bring joy, to bring peace to men and women in order that they might be saved salvation. You have to think, you have to look at the cause, my friends. The cause, not the effects. The effects, well, my friends, in order to get rid of them, you have to go to the cause, you have to go to the root of the matter. But of course, that's the problem. We want the effects to be taken away, but not the root cause, you know? We want the misery taken away. We want the distress taken away. We want the disease taken away. We want the effects taken away, but we never, never address the root cause of the matter. And the root cause of the matter, my friends, is human nature in the raw. The problem, my friends, is the heart. The heart of the problem is the heart of the matter. You deal with the heart, the human heart. God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. My friends, that's the state, that's the condition of us all, naturally speaking. We are sinful. We are in need of a savior. We're in need of a heart change, heart surgery. We're in need of our natures being transformed. But how do you do that? Well, Jesus tells us a man must be born again. You must be in order to enter God's kingdom, in order to be transformed. Your nature needs to be changed. God needs to put his life into your soul and he needs to put his love into your heart, shed abroad into your hearts by the Holy Spirit through the gospel of God's Son, Jesus Christ. So my friends, 
please take not will you. There is hope, a hope that doesn't disappoint. There is light for your darkness, victory for your failures. There is a way out, my friends, from the dark, dark path of sin. Sin is the root cause. Sin, my friends, sin in the human heart, your heart and mine, every single one of us, without exception. But God, in the greatness, in the vastness, in the immensity of his love, gave us a savior, gave us a redeemer, gave us one to bring us back from the dark path of sin, sending him into the world that through his death and resurrection that we might be brought to a, a lively, a living hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Lord, from the dead. So, have a, so, my dear friends, please turn to Jesus, call upon his name. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, Jesus, that is, shall be saved. Promise of God, the promise of the gospel, salvation for those who believe, for those who turn, turn from their sin, turn from their wicked ways. Turn from the evil of their hearts and turn in their hearts to God from sin to his son Jesus Christ. Salvation, salvation, my friends, is promised. Redemption, my friends, is promised. You like a copy of God's word and read for yourself and see the gospel, my friends. Meditate upon God's Word. Digest for yourself. New Testament of the Bible. Offered to you freely. No cost, no obligation to you. You're simply and only for the taking. You're like one. You feel free to come and ask for one. It's God's Word. It's powerful, my friends. The dynamite of God. The power of the dynamis of God. That is able able to blow you out of your sin nature and into the kingdom of God, kingdom of happiness, kingdom of joy, kingdom of peace, kingdom of hope, peace that passes all understanding, joy unspeakable and full of glory. Look into the word of God. These are they, the Bible, and the Bible alone, my friends, is the word of God. Nowhere else you'll find it. These are they, says Jesus, that, that speak of me, testify of me, he says. Search the scriptures, he says, for they testify of Jesus. That's where you find them, meditating upon, digesting the word of God. Pray the word of God into your heart. Believe. Only believe, says Jesus. If you can believe, everything is possible to him that believes. Faith, my friends, in the mighty Son of God, everything is possible. The, the miracle of your salvation, the miracle of God's transforming grace, the miracle that brings light to darkness, the miracle, my friends, that brings peace to the disturbed and distressed heart. The miracle of God's grace, my friend. The miracle of God's salvation. A miracle that you need, my friend. Not religion. Not religion, my friend. A Savior, Jesus. Here they come, brother. A miracle of God's grace, my friend. That's what's required, that's what you need. The Savior, Jesus, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem those under the power of God's law. But my friends, that there's hope, there's joy, there's peace, 
the loving kindness of God might be yours. By the grace of God, by the grace of God, it's a gift, my friends, the gift of God's salvation. My friends, a gift can only be received. You cannot work for it, be religious for it, be good for it, pay for it, do anything for it. No longer a gift then, no longer grace then. My friends, it's grace, absolutely free for reception, my friends. And, and, and declared here amongst you today. He came to his own, but his own received him not, but to as many as received him, to them who believed on his name, they were given the power, the authority that is, to become children of God rather than children of wrath. So my friends, Reception's all that's required of you. In faith, receive the gift of God. Receive the salvation of God. Receive the love of God. Receive the peace of God. Receive the hope that does not disappoint. Come to Jesus today. In the book of Psalms, my friends, King David, he tells us, the righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in Him and all the upright in heart shall glory. The righteous, who are the righteous? Oh, oh my friends, the righteous are those whom God declares to be righteous. But that's a gift as well, the righteousness of God through faith in the Son of God. But we need to be made righteous by God because we are not righteous. We are unrighteous. So we need to be justified. We need to be made right with God. How is a person justified, made right? To justify something or to justify someone is to make them right. And we are not right because, you see, we are conceived in sin born in sin, we come into the world in sin, and need making right with God. Hi girl, of course you can, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Give it to me if you're smaller than what I am. Mate, where have you travelled from today? Sorry? Where have you travelled from? Stoke, I'm saying. Excellent. Please, before you go on. My name is James R. Hamilton, Reverend James Hamilton. I'm a minister of the Gospel. Under the law, I am free to travel, to do my business, to do my work. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. during home school, so I guess it's not yeah, I know. Not, but as a minister of the gospel, I have the legal right to travel, to do my work. I must have missed that exemption. Well, I didn't see that you need to look into it, my dear, okay. because that is the, I, I've taken legal advice on it. Yeah. We've looked okay. into it thoroughly. Yeah. Ministers of the gospel are free to travel to conduct services and to conduct their business. I'm doing my job. I'm a minister of the gospel. Yeah? Okay. I'm not just a I'm not just an ordinary Christian wandering about. It's still on, a, it's on a such a traveling. You was warned last no, week, wasn't no, you no, as well? No, no, you no. was by an officer over there. Um, what happened is, okay, a fine's gonna be issued. Right. Yeah, yeah, and then you can contest it in court. Okay. Is I'll that all right? Yeah, I'll do that, yeah. Guys, I'll do that, yeah. You've got a device? I'll, go I'll do that. Obviously, oh, take it to court. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Careful, it's free to do my work. I'm doing my work. Well, There's some points developed into legal as well, so it's my job. Yeah, it's my job. Yeah. 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 Again, it's not essential for me, but... Who's the other one, this one here? Yeah. Mate, do you want it? Have you got a device? If you're doing your job and you're allowed out for charity, which, two of them, well, you could even pass this for free, but if you want to say recreation needs to be in the 
So we are going to take it further because this is, this is a violation of our freedoms. But we don't get the same story from you. We go to different places, different towns, and we get a different story. From every policeman we get, we come in contact with, we get a different story. Well, what, why, are some, what, why, are some, why are some policemen quite happy with us and you're not? Only, it's only in Birmingham. It's only in Birmingham that we have trouble. What would you think? What would you think the law? He's telling you what the law is. And that's, and that's the trouble. You don't even know what the law is. You don't. You don't. Well, that's your opinion, isn't it?